After discovering it months ago, it was finally time to see it for myself. Today we're going to London to visit the War of the Worlds experience. So, what was the experience like? Well, first of all, as you go in, they give you a coloured wristband which you put on, which in our case was green. And when the big tripod in the centre of the room lets out smoke, it comes out in different colours. When your colour is shown, you line up to go into the experience. I'm not going to spoil anything for the actual experience itself, but what I will say is they take you through different rooms with live actors, role-playing scientists, soldiers and other survivors, and periodically there are segments where you put on a VR headset, and you watch as the scene plays out in a kind of 4D experience. For example, as you can see in the trailer, there is a boat scene and you're sitting in an actual boat and it moves around as you're sitting in it and you have water splashing you. Though it's not a lot, don't worry, you won't get soaked. But that's just one example and it really is quite immersive. It certainly doesn't feel like a low budget experience. Halfway through, you have a brief 15 minute break where you go to the Redweed Bar, which looks really cool and you can buy a Redweed cocktail which tastes very nice. Obviously kids can't buy it but there has to be some perks to being an adult, okay? How are you coping? That it goes a bitch. <laughs> You need to drink some, some red weed. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we just came off a boat ride. <laughs> yeah, yes, we did do just a VR, VR boat ride. It's very dark. Yeah. I like how you can actually have a reverse camera on there so you can see what you're doing. Yeah. Fresh double What's that? What's in it? Can you get it? There we go. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of it, Liam? For a moment, I was a It's very nice. After getting our drink on in the red weed bar, we carried on with the experience for the remaining 45 minutes or so, which again was really good fun, and at the end we came out of some great pictures, and we finished by drinking some more back in the Spirit of Man bar to reflect on the experience. What was your opinion of it, Liam? How did you rate it? It was good. It yeah, was good. The zombie thing we did years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie thing was pretty now. Yeah, was, Sarah, thoughts? I mean, I died in the zombie thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> so like, could, could, could only go bad from there. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a little bit blurry, I thought it was meant to be, and then I, I raised my eyebrows. I was like, oh, I can see properly. <laughs> <laughs> what, was you, what was your opinions, Holly, Rachel? Uh, my heart was going through most of it, but it was really good. Like, yeah. I jumped so many times. I didn't really get high. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The VR and everything was amazing. It was, it was so good. Yeah. The character yeah. was so good. I think the thing that uh, made me jump more was the things that shouldn't have. Like when the guy. Doors undoing. What, doors undoing? I keep opening doors suddenly, that was what got me. Oh, right. No, no. <laughs> things that like. Like when the guy just came out, the soldier came out with the gun. Yeah. He, he just walked I towards me and I was just like, no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to start slotting civvies. <laughs> That's what you would have done. You'd have been slotting civvies. I honestly thought he was going to. It's, it, he, had like, he had like shell shocked at the gun. I was just like, oh, he's going to start pointing at us. We're going to have to run from him now. <laughs> and then, and then the shovel. I was like, oh God. I'm Part of me wanted to take the shovel away because oh, I'm not sure if anyone noticed, but with the VR thing, if you put your hand in front of your face, you can actually see your own hand. I'm yeah. not sure if anyone noticed that. I didn't notice that. Yeah. I, mean, I, didn't notice I think that. it's mine like glitched out. The fact you can see everyone else looking around on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. You're a little old man. Oh, yeah, you're an old woman. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, context to why I said I was a woman. Because I noticed that when on the boat, I could see Sarah. She was, um, 
she was a man, like some sort of old dude. And then I was like, I wonder who I am. So I looked down, I couldn't see any legs. So I looked down even more, and I saw boobs. <laughs> <laughs> more important than legs. <laughs> So overall, I can safely say this is an experience definitely worth going to if you are near to London or perhaps visiting for a while. This will only take a couple of hours out of your evening and it's really entertaining. It's not too expensive and the drinks, whilst they are a bit expensive, I wouldn't say it was any worse than anywhere else in London. I'm definitely up for going back in the future, so well done to Layered Reality and the team that runs the event. We had a lot of fun. Thank you everyone for watching. I know this isn't a particularly long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give the video a like because it helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already as always the links to all my socials are in the description including my discord server massive thank you to my members for supporting me continuously i hope everyone has an awesome christmas and i will see you very soon